We are here to say that the banning of assault weapons are ineffective and we oppose it. Uh, the Second Amendment clearly says that a banned so-called assault weapon runs counter to the Second Amendment, which protects the right to lawfully, I repeat, lawfully keep and bear arms. Um, in the court case, DCVS Heller, it proves that Miller is not the controlling president. Um, Boran Cor Congressman, 2009. The court sent a clear message that by banning assault weapons, these are small steps towards the eroding of the Constitution. Guns, uh, guns can be used to solve acts of evil in the name of self-defense. Um, it is required to have an orderly, ordered liberty. Um, Gross, chair of Cal Guns Foundation, July 26, 2012. But there are there are other crimes committed in this world. Our civil right to arm self-defense has a storied history of protecting us from many of those evils. Like for example, the this rights this right protected the abol abolitionists, abolitionists who took the message that slavery was evil directly into the slave states. Um, after the Civil War, the right to bear arms was used to protect freed men from the brutal violence of Ku Klux Klan. Um, the right to armed self-defense protects the LGBT community, and the right to self-defense protects mothers and daughters from rapists, merchants from robbers, and families from home invaders. 1.5 million times a year, uh, Guns, assault weapons are successfully are successful in defending against good people from bad people without firing a single shot. Um, the federal ban, the ban is ineffective. It has a sunset provision, which means that it will one day expire, which means that whatever effect the ban had, it would be gone. Um, the provision of the law banning copies or duplicates was intended to prevent manufacturers from sporterization uh, or changing the names of guns. But then the ATF, the Arms Tobacco Foundation, has not enforced the provision. So guns are allowed to change names and all that. Many firearms manufacturers, many manufacturers <coughs> uh, perform a tactic called sporterization to skirt the ban, which means that they can remove a military feature to, to call it technically not an assault weapon. The law only bans assault weapons. Other guns are still available for self-defense, like rifles and shotguns, um, after the effect of the date of the act. The definition of assault weapons requires each weapon to have two military features. Um, ATF used the test requiring only one specified military feature. The federal ban was a victim of numerous compromises, unfortunate regular regulatory decisions and exploration by the gun industry. Um, ban is, therefore, the ban is ineffective and it has flaws. And it can, it can be easily bypassed and skirted. Therefore, the, therefore, the ban is ineffective and it prevents assault weapons that is that are available for people to defend against terrorists. And it prevents self-defense by the right of the people, and it counters the Second Amendment of the Constitution that our whole government is based on.